Hello and welcome back to another video. In this video we are gonna showcasing the RAM uh, Shine and MC4 injector uh, by TLH. Uh, special, uh, I want to give a sh big shout out to uh, TLH for his great and awesome tools. Appreciate it man. Also I want to uh, thanks every and single uh, one of the guys who created cheat files. Appreciate it guys because those guys they put so much hours on those cheat files so thank you again guys so let's get to it guys first things first you download the tool which I will leave the link in the description so you extract it to your desktop or somewhere you can't remember it's a very light uh, uh, weight uh, and it's portable you don't have to install it or anything so you run the tool and you wait it's loading I'm going to actually uh, start pin loader so I'll go to your exploit and start pin loader all right and here you insert your IP address Uh, I'm using the tool on firmware my PlayStation firmware is 5.05 if you are on 6.72 you may choose this one but in my case I'm gonna choose this one so I'm gonna click on payload so that means I will send a payload so I'll send a payload because it loaded right here as so you can see voice so let's send a payload Alright, once the payload is sent, we're gonna exit from this browser, go back to our main game. Alright, so now uh, you can go to options if you want to. I want to click some uh, boxes, check some boxes, for example notification, I want to click on this one. So every time I turn a cheat on or cheat off, I will get another notification on my PlayStation 4. Suspend on inject, suspend the process before injecting the code. This sometimes can be really handy and useful because I tried it on some games and it did not work un unless I suspend the process before injecting the code. So I'm going to click on this one. I will leave this one not checked. You can try it if you want to. This is the shortcuts. All right, so uh, let's talk a little bit more about the tool before we click on connect. You can see if there is any missing art cover, it will the tool will download it automatically. And it depends on how many cover art you are missing. Sometimes it takes a few seconds or a few minutes. Here, if you want to search for the game by its uh, CUSA um, version, for example, here, if you want to search by the game you want to search by the name for example this is dark soul this is dark soul you can search it type dark soul and you will see all dark souls here you can search by creator who create the cheat file those are the guys who create the cheat files as you can see um, this is the name of the uh, uh, of the of the games here you can sort out by id or by cusa or by creator you want to sort the, uh, the cheats here's by the name as you can see all right anyways boys so now we click on connect and we try out the cheat connected nice so once it's connected the tool will automatically detect uh, the game you are running and select the cheat files so that the cheat files available available for this CUSA so this one for 672 exactly the same one and this one is old I need to delete this one so this one this one is identical except the button tackle is different from 6.72 to 5.05 so in this case we choose this one so 
So now what it's doing is suspending the process before injection each coat because the master, master code need to be injected first. This is the startup uh, code. All right. If you right click, you can enable all or disable all, which is very handy if you want to exit from the game and you have you have turned on many the cheat codes and you don't want it to go to turn them off by one one by one so you can select each either uh, enable or disable all all right so now let's select infinity health and let's get hit there you go as you can see and the speed this is a normal speed all right let's see speed hack let's try the speed hack uh, uh, this is the speed hack okay i think uh, we covered everything so far so but let's try disable all got disabled automatically pretty neat right so if you want to disconnect before exit and now I can you know always disable the cheats before exit so now I can click on disconnect and now I can you know close the game safely uh, that's all for today boys uh, I wish you enjoy this video if you do please give us give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Thank you and I will see you soon.